Welcome to NetSuite for Government. In this video, we'll walk through the process of creating a purchase order from an existing requisition within the Procure to Pay workflow. The initial step is to navigate to the requisition. Using the Recent Records feature, we can easily find and select the requisition already entered into the system. In this requisition, we can see several items listed, all associated with the project reviewed earlier. The next step is to approve the requisition. NetSuite offers workflow approvals that can be set up for line level, transaction level, by department, and by threshold. For our example, we'll approve this specific requisition. Once approved, the procurement individual or the person who created the requisition will have the opportunity to create the purchase order. Creating a purchase order can be done directly from the requisition or through the navigation menu under Order Requisitions. We can search by the requisition number or various other options. Today we'll look for Requisition 12. We'll collect all items associated with the requisition and submit them for the creation of a purchase order. This action initiates the Process Purchase Order screen. The Process Purchase Order screen is extremely helpful because it allows us to continue our work on other tasks. If we need to create additional purchase orders or have other tasks to complete, this process can run in the background without interruption to our day. Another important feature within the process of creating a purchase order from a requisition is that if there are multiple vendors on a requisition, purchase orders will be created and sent to each vendor.